Hello. Welcome to my bus. Does this look strange? Do I look tense? I probably should, because I'm about to pilot a 40-foot city bus with only a few beginner's tips from my very trusting trainer and guide, Ivan. It's all part of the BC Transit Media Rodeo that was recently held in Kelowna. Give a chance for our uh, media friends to uh, see what it's like to drive a bus, maybe get a sense of uh, what our operators around the province are having to put up with every day in traffic and crowded buses and all the rest of it. Now you know why I'm sitting in the driver's seat with white knuckles. Now let's see how I do. It's on what to the first challenge. First thing, see where these guys are standing? There's yeah. these pylons? Yeah. We're going to go straight through those pylons and make a right turn. Okay. Okay. That seems pretty easy. Just head towards the cone and make a right-hand turn. What could go wrong? Go slow is the key. These turns better when you go slow. Stay to your left. Now turn. Oh, you're too tight. You're too tight. See? You got to be slower. It turns out that maneuvering a vehicle three times longer than my mid-sized car really is a little harder than I thought. In my defense though, the cone did return to its regular shape and position once my wheel finished rolling over it. In any case, it's on to the next challenge. This time I have to keep the bus on the straight and narrow as I roll through lines of tennis balls which run the length of the course on both sides of the wheel. It was tight quarters, and the use of mirrors was vitally important to ensure the ball stayed put. To your left, to your left. Okay, that's good, that's good. How did he do on how many did he take all the inside uh, out? No, just the last three, so 36 yeah. out of 50. Oh. Not a bad score, okay. and with it, my confidence <laughs> was beginning to rise. Straight, go straight. How are we doing? Oh, you're perfect, you're, okay. you're great. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, now start to turn slowly. Turn slowly. Look in your rearview mirror that you're not going to hit that pylon. And then crank her hard. Missing that pylon? Yeah. Okay, keep her crank. Now come over this way, to the right. After a strong turn, it was time to pull up to the curb for a passenger pickup. That's where things began to go sideways. Literally. A little more to the left. Just a little bit. That's right. To the left. To the left. Okay, go up some more. Good. Stop right there. That's good. Okay. 14 oh, inches? 14 inches? Okay. And what's it supposed to be? Six, Six. inches? Yeah. Oh no. Is it left? Yeah. It's right. <laughs> it's right. Okay. All right. I got my hands mixed up. With that rise in confidence oh, no short lived, I needed to take a deep breath and show myself I had what it takes to bounce back. Okay, can you see that other pylon on the other side? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, cut her hard. Cut her hard. You're not. Cut her hard. After some slow and precise maneuvering, it was time to snug up to the final cone at the back of the bus. A little more. Well, we'll gamble, yeah. Uh -huh. Stop. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, I think. Let's see how we did. I have to be close to this back You got to be cone. less than 36. What are we? 17? 13. Oh, okay. With confidence restored, I faced the final challenge of the day, a judgment stop. What that means is I hit the gas, go as fast as I can and slam on the brakes just before I hit the cone. Sounds like fun. Until you're hurtling toward a cone, which goes against all common lap, sense. Lap, so I panicked. Break. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> That's scary. I don't want to break the city bus. You're not gonna break. <laughs> the goal was to stop the bus within six inches of the cone. I stopped six feet shy of the target. Maybe not my finest driving moment, but it was a great way to finish the day and a fun way to cap off an experience I'll That's never it. forget. Well, thank you very much. That was, uh, that was quite the experience.